The Gemara in Sanhedrin, on that Mem Beis Amen Aleph, writes that Kiddush Lavana is like Kabbalah's Pnei Hashkina, is like reading the presence, the divine presence. And that there are explanations exactly what that means. One of the prevalent minhagim that uh, people know when it comes to reciting Kiddush Lavana is that we say three times to three different people, we say Shalom Aleichem, and they respond Aleichem Shalom. And also not for now is that there are, no, there are numerous reasons why we do that. But the issue I would like to focus on is in a, t- in a time like now where we are unable to recite Kiddush Levana as we usually do in a minion, so we are oftentimes left alone. So what do we do then? So even though we do try whenever possible to recite Kiddush Levana with a minion, it is clear, as the Bir Halacha points out, that me'ikar adin, that technically speaking, from a pure halachic standpoint, one is not required to recite Kiddush Levana with a minion. One may even recite it Bi'echidus, where it comes from. The, the a proof for that is that a, the, reciting Kiddush Levana is not included in the list in the Mishnah, in Megillah, which, recite, which, which lists the different things that require a minion, and Kiddush Levana is not one of them. However, there is certainly an idea based off of the Pasuk of the Rov of Am Hadras Melech that generally we try to do things in larger crowds, give greater beautification, greater respect, greater honor to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to Hashem, and therefore, we do try to often do things in a more public type of way. So therefore, whenever possible, we try to have a minion for Kiddush Levana. And if we can't have a minion for Kiddush Levana, so we do try to have at least three people. The reason being, the Ramah mentions that we say Shalom Aleichem to three people uh, in the middle of, uh, after the bracha, after setting the bracha of Kiddush Levana. When one does not have a minion and one does not even have three people, the post can point out that one can recite even to one other person. Rav Moshe finds and points that there is a kiyum of the Rovam Hadras Melech, that it still is preferable, even if there's only one other person, that one can, then go, one can then go ahead and recite to their friend, to that one person, three different times, Shalom Aleichem, Aleichem, Shalom, Shalom Aleichem, Aleichem, Shalom, Shalom Aleichem, Aleichem, Shalom, three times to the same person. However, we, many of us, myself included, oftentimes, uh, right now, not oftentimes, but right now, in our circumstances, find ourselves not even with one other male who we would be able to do that with. And therefore, uh, we are certainly, may Iker Adin, there be a already pointed out, one can recite Kiddush Levana themselves, but one would just simply not, re- not recite the Shalom Aleichem. So again, ideally, under normal circumstances, we aim for a minion. If we can't have a minion, then minimum three people. And if can't have that, then at least one other person is, is even better. However, in our circumstances, with everything going on, and we very much are by ourselves, so in such a case, it is definitely uh, re- requested and preferable to be saying it uh, not, not, and required to be saying it by ourselves, not even with one other person. Have a great day.